The earth is flat. Flat. The earth is flat. My reality, my senses tell me that the earth is flat and stationary. For centuries, a flat earth was accepted as certainty until science and sailboats said otherwise. Welcome back to another episode of Planetarium, where we unravel space chronicles beyond Earth. For several decades, researchers and the public strongly contemplate that the Earth is a flat disk instead of a spherical body. Today's video discusses the flat Earth and why people believe this is true. From 1519 to 1522, Ferdinand Magellan and Juan Sebastian Elcano completed the first circumnavigation of the Earth, proving that Earth is a sphere. Despite this achievement, groups and individuals now claim that the Earth is flat often using pseudo-scientific and philosophical arguments to support their beliefs. Those who vouch for the theory of a flat Earth believe that our planet takes the form of a disk, with the Arctic Circle at its center. According to this view, the continents are distributed across the disk with Antarctica at its outer edge. Other proponents of the flat Earth theory contended that the Earth is disk-shaped, with the Arctic Circle at its center and surrounded by land masses. In their view, Antarctica comprises an infinite expanse of ice at the disk's outer perimeter. Essentially, they posit that the Earth is an unbounded plane, with its north, south, east and west directions stretching out indefinitely, marked only by the endless expanses of ice. While most people accept the Earth's spherical shape, members of the Flat Earth Society, including notable figures like Atlanta rapper B.O.B. and NBA player Kiri Irving, continue to reject this widely accepted scientific fact. If the Earth were truly flat, the concept of gravity would not hold up. Gravity is a fundamental force that helps explain many phenomena in our world. Flat Earthers contend that gravity pulls objects straight down to the landmass rather than towards the spherical Earth's center, as mainstream science accepts. However, there is no evidence to support this claim. In a disk-shaped Earth, gravity would pull objects straight down at the disk's center. Still, as one moves away from the center, gravity pulls things horizontally, resulting in bizarre and unnatural phenomena, such as trees growing at odd angles or water being pulled towards the center of the world. This is because the concept of gravity, espoused by flat Earthers, contradicts the established laws of gravity that govern our spherical Earth. While the Earth orbits the Sun due to the latter's immense mass and gravitational pull, it also moves in a direction perpendicular to the Sun's gravitational tug. If gravity were to suddenly cease to exist, the Earth would move in a straight line away from the solar system. A disk-shaped Earth would be vulnerable to solar disturbances, as it would not have the same gravitational stability as a spherical Earth. However, in the flat Earth model, the Earth is positioned at the center of the universe, with the sun revolving around the top side of the disk, shining its lights onto our planet. This view is not supported by scientific evidence and contradicts established astronomical knowledge. In today's digital age, where information is easily accessible, the idea of a flat Earth is gaining traction among large groups of people. In recent times, organizations promoting the idea the Earth is flat have emerged. Despite the fact that the Earth's spherical shape has been recognized for almost 2,000 years, these organizations started appearing in the mid-20th century and some are pretty serious in their beliefs. Many individuals are driven to subscribe to the Flat Earth theory for religious or conspiracy-based reasons. The origins of modern Flat Earth beliefs can be tracked back to English writer Samuel Robotham who formulated his theories based on observations made during the Bedford Level Experiment in 1838. Robotham gained a following, including notable figures such as printer William Carpenter, American preacher John Jasper, former Justice of the Peace Joseph W. Holden, and Frank Cherry, the founder of the Black Hebrew Israelite religion. Several decades ago, individuals who subscribed to the Flat Earth belief decided to form a society to represent their views. In 1956, Samuel Shenton founded the International Flat Earth Research Society, using religious and alternative science concepts and technology to support his and society's beliefs. This society has faced considerable backlash, with American anthropologist Eugene Scott describing its members as extreme biblical literalists. The Flat Earth Society has been critical of organizations like NASA and the US government, which constantly contradict their beliefs. 
The society experienced a decline in membership during the late 1990s, but was revived by Daniel Shenton in 2004 through web-based discussion forums. This led to the society's official relaunch in 2009. Skeptical societies have occasionally conducted experiments to test the flat earth belief, including a notable instance at the Sultan Sea on June 10, 2018 by the Independent Investigations Group. National Geographic Explorer documented that Flat Earth supporters were present during the experiment. The disappearance of a boat on the horizon demonstrated the curvature of the Earth. The documentary, Behind the Curve, followed two groups of American Flat Earthers on a quest to gather evidence to support their beliefs. One of their experiments involved using a ring laser gyroscope to demonstrate that the Earth was not rotating but moving at a rate of 15 degrees per hour. The Flat Earthers dismissed these results, claiming that the device used was faulty. Another group attempted to use lasers to measure the distance between the water level and a laser beam across three vertical posts spanning several miles of water. However, they could not align the beam and the water's surface across all three points, rendering the experiment inconclusive. In August 2017, a solar eclipse prompted a flurry of social media posts claiming that it was evidence of a flat Earth. Videos making this claim were widely circulated on YouTube. Many YouTubers have embraced the flat Earth theory, promoting various associated beliefs. In 2019, famous YouTuber Logan Paul released a satirical documentary titled Flat Earth to the Edge and Back, which sparked numerous conversations and discussions. Flat Earth conspiracy theorist Mike Hughes attempted to conduct experiments to support his beliefs. On March 14, 2018, he built a crude rocket using scrap metal and a custom launch pad constructed from a mobile home. The rocket, carrying Hughes, ascended 1,875 feet into the air before deploying a parachute for the descent. Although the landing was rough, Hughes escaped without injury. He declined to comment on the experiment's results, suggesting that more accurate data would require larger rockets. Hughes passed away on February 22, 2020, while piloting a steam-powered rocket in an attempt to prove that the Earth was flat. Most schoolchildren are taught that the Earth is round, and the ideas promoted by modern flat Earthers can be confusing and contradictory to established scientific knowledge. There is a wealth of logical evidence supporting the Earth's spherical shape, while there is scant evidence to support the notion of a flat or disc-shaped Earth. Rejecting the idea of a spherical Earth also requires denying fundamental concepts like grid distortion on a curved surface, observation of the sky from high altitudes, surface navigation, and gravity. After considering all this information, what do you believe? Share your thoughts in the comment section below.